in, 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 in the know. Good evening, everyone. In the know. Tony Reeves. Tony Reeves. Tony Reeves. Tony Reeves. Fire. Following the news in any way, shape, or form. No shortage of things to talk about. What does it mean? What will it bring? Is this a reality we simply have to accept? Go ahead and get started. Happy post-Thanksgiving. Right about now, you should be kind of relaxing a bit. Hope I'm hoping that you've you know, gotten your eat on, blowing your calories, blowing that diet all up out of here. And now you're back here because you're trying to get yourself right because you know what? You got a good feeling about the rest of this year. You're thinking your hearing's coming around. Or more importantly, you've gotten your hearing notice. You're excited because you're like, okay, I'm almost there. I want to give you another guide towards helping you understand your disability hearing notice. Part five, more about issues. Sometimes social security will add a, a partner about additional issues they wanna make sure they address. Like for instance, any other issues that pop up like DANA, which is what I call drugs, well, I don't call it, it's drugs and alcohol, where social security has to make a determination of whether or not drugs or alcohol play a role in your case. So what social security does is that most people don't realize that situations like DANA where social security has to decide, one, are you disabled? If they believe you're disabled, they wanna know if drugs or alcohol plays any part in you being found disabled. And more importantly, if they take the drugs and alcohol away, are you still disabled? See that unique issue? It does. Sometimes people see that and they're like, are they saying I'm a drunk? No, they're not saying you're drunk. What they're saying is that if you drink alcohol or abuse any types of illegal drugs, they wanna make sure that, you are, that you're disabled independent of those things. From a, let me kind of give you a little history lesson. There was a period of time where years ago, I want to say mid nineties, where you could get disability benefits as a result of being on um, alcoholic or on drugs. So security, so security, the reg, I think Congress changed all that group. So now what they basically say is, look, if we think you feel that you're better, once you clean yourself up and get off all, all those things, we're not going to award you benefits for that. You're not going to get disability benefits because you're disabled as a result of drugs and alcohol. So Social Security has this issues, they'll throw stuff like that in there to let you know if they if they have identified that at some point in time you've used drugs or drank alcohol in the past, that's something that they're gonna have to address when going through the disability process. They're bringing that to your attention so you're not surprised when they ask you those questions. Stay tuned, and we're gonna talk about uh, a little bit more about more about issues relating to your disability hearing notes. Under the Social Security regulations, representatives are permitted to practice before the administrative agency anywhere in the country, which means that when you're looking for a representative, you can find someone who doesn't necessarily have to be in your state if you're just going before the administrative agency. So it's possible to have an attorney or representative who's from Utah, even though you may be in Georgia. And our office is actually no different. So if you're wondering which states we cover, check this out. tricky part is once you become, once you have to sue the Social Security Administration, under that situation, you want to have an attorney that's representing you in your jurisdiction. So if you have a representative who's in another state and you've gone all the way to the Appeals Council and you've been denied and you want to sue the Social Security Administration, you make sure you ask that representative whether or not they can sue someone in that particular state. Welcome back. When you look and it says more about issues, don't freak. If this is highlighted, just know they're putting you on notice so that you are prepared to discuss whatever issue Social Security wants to have addressed. I know this is gonna sound very insensitive, but this is what I tell people all the time. You really wanna know as much information in advance so that you're not going in there and having that deer in the headlight look. Cause they ask you a question like, so how much do you drink? See here that you pop positive for cocaine. You know, let's go on with that marijuana thing. You want to be prepared to explain that because anytime there's an issue, or let's say, not even drugs or alcohol, let's say they look in your file and they notice that um, you had earnings where you worked for like, you know, six months and made about $8,000. They want to know, well, where'd that money come from? Can you still do that job? You want to be prepared to explain those things. 
You do not want the government in the business of trying to figure out anything. You want to explain it. So this way they have a better understanding of your circumstances. So this way you it does not become an impediment or it does not hurt your case. Okay? All right. Hope that helps and stay tuned. Be back here starting on Monday. We're going to be talking about part six, dealing with remarks. And the remarks is going to be more about the experts because that's usually where they put in the remarks section. Experts that may be in attendance that you're hearing. I hope to see you back here on Monday. Subscribe, please. I'd love to have more of you on here because I'm trying to provide some useful information. And I look forward to seeing you again here on your Q&A Social Security Disability Today. I want to thank all of you for engaging in the videos. Make sure you take the opportunity to send me any comments or send me any particular questions that you want me to have addressed here. As you know, this, this show is for you. And so the only way I can make sure that I can provide you some good information is if you provide me some good questions. Keep them coming and right here on Q&A, Social Security Disability Today.